Greetings, mandolin lovers. You have a mandolin, now you have to get it in tune. It's not that easy, I have to say. Um, there's some things you need to know. Well, you need to know the tuning of your mandolin, which is E, that's the first string, the one closest to your knee. Why don't you play your E string and try to get it in tune with me? All right, there are two strings there, but we just call it the E string, all right? We don't say the E strings, that would be so awkward. So the E string is these two pegs, this one. And take command of those pegs. Don't be afraid to turn them and to get yourself in tune. Now, I snark up when I tune. I use one of these uh, to get it in the ballpark. Uh, I put it on the end of my mandolin and I turn it on and I get it close to an E. And then I kind of use my ear too. Usually a tuner alone will not get you in tune. I hate to say it, but it will not. And so tune one and then the other. First peg, second peg. They're both E. Then move to the A string, which is the third and fourth pegs. It's weird, it's weird. Uh, and we have an A here, My, I'm a little sharp. Why don't you tune to that while you're at it? And then the fourth peg, which is the A as well. And then play the E again. Uh, don't be afraid to tune, turn these pegs and to make mistakes and to do the wrong thing and sing along with the tuning. It'll get you more connected to your instrument. Your instrument will like you more and you'll be a braver person who walks the world unafraid to sing. E, A, I, sir. E, A. Now let's go to the D string, which is two strings. This peg right here, hello tuner, you're right here. This peg and this peg. The fifth and sixth pegs are the D string. And that's a D. And then we'll match the other one, tune one, and then tune the other one to it. D. Again, don't be afraid of the pegs. be afraid to tune in front of other people because I thought they would know better than I would but nobody cares I mean some people care but ignore them and just tune D. now let's go down to the seventh and eighth pegs which are the G string it is weird 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 G. And G. And when you get it more or less in the ballpark E, A, D, G. Then make a chord. Make a G chord. Middle finger at the third fret of the first string. Index at the second fret of the second string. And strum it. And that's pretty close. So using your ears and your snark. Um, you're gonna get in tune and the, and then you're gonna also make a lot of mistakes and you're not gonna get in tune and the mandolin's gonna change, weather's gonna change it, pegs are gonna tune wrong, they're gonna, everything's gonna go wrong, but eventually you get a relationship with your instrument that gets it in tune. Great, you're gonna be able to do this. You'll get good at it. You should try to do it every day, all right? So, we're in tune, now what?